Hey guys, welcome back to All Mode Activities. Today we're going to go over our brand new 2023 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. Now, the funny thing is it's been almost three months since we actually took delivery of it. You can tell because my dad has gone off-roading and the tires are completely dirty. There's brake dust on them and all of that. But yeah, in the video, the car is about a month old. And yeah, we've owned this car so long that our Mitsubishi is actually gone from back there. I wasn't able to record that much when we actually bought the car due to the fact that I was like busy studying for exams around that time. So let's hop into the video I took when this car was about a month old. So here's the Frontier's interior and we got the Pro 4X logo right here stitched into the cloth seats which are really comfortable. They have like good lumbar. They're like really nice and soft seats. Just like the handrest here, the armrest, the center console is a, like a really nice leather. And yeah, we got cloth seats over here. It's pretty nice. Now we have already owned this. My dad has owned this truck for over a month now. And yeah, it's a bit dirty. You know, he uses it for work. So it makes sense that it would be a bit dirty. You got rubber thing, uh, like a little protectors and they come they come off so you can clean them it's pretty nice hey we got a wireless charger right here but he never uses it because it is summer right now and it gets very very hot and when you put your phone here it gets very very hot because wireless charging is induction which produces heat we got the shifter right here there's already a little scratch due to this like laptop and it's a it got piano black plastic right here which isn't the nicest because it picks up fingerprints but there is this like nice metallic in it now my dad keeps his cloth here so he doesn't spill coffee my dad loves coffee and yeah i don't know my dad really cares for his cars but he just doesn't have the time to care for his cars like he, like if he can care for it he will care for it by doing like as much protection as he can just like this but yeah, sometimes, he, you know, he doesn't have time to clean that. So, you know, I help him out with that. I, I should probably clean that later on today. Uh, we got a nine inch infotainment screen here. It is really nice. It's got Apple CarPlay. It's a lot nicer than a RAW4, which has uh, like a little six inch screen. This is huge, honestly. Uh, it also picks up fingerprints because like this whole area is glass. On our RAW, on our RAW4, it's kind of like the gauge cluster. It has a like matte screen finish. So it like, it, it like gets rid of any type of like glare on the screen and fingerprints, which this one does not have. And you know, it gets pretty fingerprinty very often. But yeah, this also has built-in GPS and it's, it is super nice. Got leather right here, which is, I really like, although it gets very, very hot, just like the leather here. I guess it's more like a vinyl than a leather maybe. And then we got like almost full screen display, but it still has the analog gauges, which I really do like. The screen has a lot of useful information, such as like oil, oil temperature gauges and different like gauges that I'll show you. Now here's the biggest reason why my dad wanted a 4x4 truck is because four wheel drive. Basically right now we're in two wheel drive, you know, because we're just driving on city streets. Not much is happening. There's four high for like when it rains or when the you know road conditions get not that nice so like when it snows we've got four low for off-roading my dad does a lot of off-roading for his job and he really needs that because in his mitsubishi outlander even though it had four wheel drive with like a locking differential just like this it still got stuck because you know it's not it's not actual four wheel drive or anything like that so that's why he wanted this and that's why he really needed a truck also for you know the space and that but the off-road capabilities is like what he really needed this is exactly why he canceled this ford maverick order to go look for a tacoma or a frontier because he really needed this and i don't know he, he kind of just forgot about it with the maverick the maverick gets really good fuel mileage though like it gets like more than a rav4 it gets like almost 40 miles per gallon this so far we've been averaging about 22 miles per gallon not the best we also have that dash camera just in case a little accident happens my dad has caught so many like funny moments or reckless moments of other people and a lot of like wildfires too because you know wildfire season starting up in canada you know summertime that has been a major issue and he has had lots of off-roading journeys with this thing that i get to view with the dash cam oh yeah and you also have to love the fake carbon fiber right here look at this and we got this nice painted orange accent piece here we got it here here there on the seats too i really do like the orange accenting because on our rav4 it's just plain old white 
but you know this actually looks pretty good it's also on the nissan badge the nissan badges outside also have them the, oh yeah the gauges also have that orange like accent color except the pro 4x badges in the back like on the back tailgate that is just regular silver so we got heated seats a heated steering wheel parking sensors a usb-c i've never had we've never had that in a car a usb a good old usb for music another heated seat for this we got a window defroster we got a heated mirror so that's also a first in one of uh, in any of our cars we got ac dual dual zone ac it's pretty nice also i don't know what it is but the ac in this car is like freezing cold now i think it's probably due to the fact that the refrigerant in this car is like brand new compared to our rav4 which is seven years old now also just regular i feel like even the regular fan is super cold and i feel like they're like putting it through the condenser a little bit to make it really really cold and i really do like that because it cools it it cools us down really like a lot in the summer and last but not least we have a sunroof up here just like our rao 4 okay okay i thought that was like a crack for a second but no it is not a crack it's a really nice sunroof not gonna lie we keep it closed due to the fact that it gets very hot here and the sun here is very strong so you know it would really heat up the interior and like just there's no point really opening it because like if something were to happen in the sunroof and this shade was open all the glass would fall through and like someone could get inside i guess maybe we got a sunglass holder right here and it falls all the way like all the way over here to a point where if you forget about it your sunglasses will just fall out by itself we got led illumin reading lights illumination lights i don't know what they're called and then we got like the sunroof controls and there's an SOS button that does not work because we did not sign up for the Nissan Connect even though it's like free for like a year but then you have to pay a monthly subscription to use remote start or even this SOS and it's really stupid anyways I hope you enjoyed today's video guys of the our brand new Nissan Frontier as you can see because it's like three months old we're almost at six thousand kilometers in three months my dad drives this car a lot and he drives his work cars a lot and this was you know for his work the mitsubishi outlander as i said in the video like he he's driven a lot in that car and that's why he had to sell it and yeah this car is probably gonna have a lot of mileage in another five years uh, i'll make so many more videos about this car it's su it's such a great truck in the first like three months and nothing nothing so far has gone wrong i hope nothing does and i hope you enjoyed today's video guys and this will be on my activities turning off this car because my dad does not want me in here